Welcome to Global Group Fitness. I'm Barbara Rodriguez and I'm here to coach you through body and soul number one. So the equipment that you I recommend for you today is a yoga mat. And to just have a drink of water just next to you, so if you need to hydrate during your class today. So come to the back end of your mat with me. We're going to start setting up your child's pose. So music, please. Knees wide, big toes together behind you. Stretch your arms overhead, bring your forehead to the floor. We're coming to all fours, so shift your weight forward. Now your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. We're coming to a cow and cat stretch. So take a deep breath in, open your heart, send your tailbone high. And now as you exhale, tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin, curve your spine. Let's do that again. Make it a bit bigger, really take that to your body. Open the chest. Beautiful. And then breathe out. We're coming to a standing four fold. So walk your feet towards your hands. Big toes together, bend your knees, lift your belly, relax your shoulders. We're coming to a standing mountain pose. So roll through your spine as you stand up, palms together overhead. Now bring your hands through heart center. The back leg is going to step back to a long lunge. So look, the back heel off the ground. Knee over ankle, roll the shoulders back. All right, we're gonna take a deep breath in, soak your arms, and now breathe out through your nose. Coming to warrior three. So bring your chest to your thigh, start shift your weight to the front leg. Keep this ten in a bend for balance. Squeeze your butt. Butt touch down, feet together. Now the other leg's gonna step back. So front leg, front legs close to me. Now try to bring the front thigh parallel to the floor. Keep your posture upright. Let's breathe this one. Take a deep breath in. And now breathe out. You move as slow as you breathe. Warrior three. So chest to thigh, shift your weight. And if you can, bring your chest and leg parallel to the floor. Long and strong. We're gonna touch down. This time your feet wide apart. A little bit tight, chi. Toes out. Stretch your arms overhead. Stick a deep breath in. And then breathe out. As you stand up, roll through the spine. So exhale through your nose, inhale through your nose. If it feels good, release your fingertips to the floor. Last one now. Beautiful, hold here. So track two, we're hitting your Pilates. So we're gonna train glutes and hamstrings. Come to the floor with me. Find your all fours again. Hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips. Your front leg's gonna lift to the side, slow. So stabilize your body. Oh, we got single time. Pick up that beat with me. So up and down, up and down. So everything is on the floor. Make it super stable. Spread your fingers, relax your toes. Oh, give me one more. Hold here, bring the leg up to 9 degrees, you're going to cross diagonal, so cross and up, down and up, flex your foot, now look between your hands, you want to keep the longer neutral spine, two more, hold this one up, we got eight tight pulses, so pulse, pulse, squeeze your glutes, 
Come on, raise that roof with me. Two and one, other side, open to the side, super slow. So catch your breath. Find a comfortable spot, we're gonna go again, single time. So out and in, out and in. Keep rolling your hip down, activating your glutes, activating your hamstrings. One more, hold, bring your leg up, flex your foot, we're gonna cross diagonal. Here we go, down and up, down and up. So training, there's small muscle groups. They fatigue quite quick. Gonna start to feel about now. Two more. Last one, hold it up. Eight tiny pulses. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeeze your glutes. Four, three, two. Oh, roll over. Let's set up your hip bridge. So heels close to your butt, arms by your side. Lift your hips by squeezing your glutes. Eight tiny pulses, so pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep pressing through the heels. Front arm, front leg's gonna lift. And down switch now. Uh, this is it. So your challenge here, try to keep your hips level and lift it throughout the movement. You have to squeeze that butt a bit harder. Are we gonna add something now? Same thing, but you're gonna extend your legs. So up, extend, bend, touch down, other side. Oh, right, stay here. We're gonna hold this transition. So hold. Keep pushing through the hills. Really try to come up in your shoulders here. Track three, Pilates, we're gonna hit the abs now. Finish this, eight tiny pulses, eight, seven, six. Come on, lift a bit higher by squeezing your glutes. Two and one, set up your side hover. So come and face this screen, elbow under your shoulder, bottom legs bent, lift your hips, lift your leg. We're gonna crunch. So elbow, knee, join together. In and out, nice and control. So we Pilates, so power your breath. Inhale through your nose, exhale through the mouth. Last one, up and hold, hold. Top arm reach up, L lift the leg high, drive to the bottom hip, push the floor away from you. Yes, oh, touch down. Turn around, so still facing the screen. Elbow under your shoulder, lift. Let's crunch again, here we go. In and out, in and out. About now, you can feel all the back of your body. It's actually starting to fatigue. I can feel it too. We're gonna push it through together, two more. Open and hold. Top arm reach up. Come on, lift that leg a bit higher. I know you can. Drive to the bottom hip. Two and one, release. We've got legs and arms shoot out. So there's your set position. Stretch arms overhead. Legs to 45 degrees. Super slow. You're gonna reach for your ankles and crunch up and extend. Oh, pick up the beat, single time. So in and out. Keep looking between your knees to protect your neck. Squeeze your abs. And if you need an option, just touch down. I'm gonna touch down here. Otherwise, stay with me. Oh, hold, quick recovery. Bring your knees into your chest. We got leg raise and hip lift. Arms by your side, legs to 45. We're gonna have two and two. So up, up, and down, and down. So send the legs straight up to the ceiling. And what we're trying to do, just lift the tailbone off the ground. 
nice and control small movement two more and if you need you can bend your legs there's your option here one more a hold come on up we got sitting twist so toes to the floor lift the chest clasp your hands we got single time Sat to the front as fast so front and back front and back so rotate from the center of the chest and if you want a little bit more as you progress through the weeks just lift your toes add a little bit stability challenge last four three two and one hold in the center well done that's your track four your last pilates track we're gonna hit the back core so roll over we've got flutter kicks to start so hands on the shoulders lift the chest we're gonna flutter kick your legs here we go so your legs straight long and strong push the floor away from you squeeze your elbows in so feel that squeeze in the shoulder blades squeeze the butt four three two one release superman stretch your arms overhead legs together gonna pull for two counts so pull the elbows in in two out two so have a look at your arms your arms are floating now as you squeeze lift the chest and try to lift your thigh off the ground. Two more, crush the shoulder blades together. Last one. Our touch down, we're gonna go back to your flutter kicks. So hands under your shoulders, lift the chest, flutter kick your legs, here we go. So here is a race. Pump it up the legs, it's a race between you and me. And trust me, I want you to win. So stay with me and pop them really fast. Four, three, two, one, release. Woo. All right, roll over. A little bit more abs. We've got a combination. So teardrop, reclining boat, starfish. Again, teardrop, reclining boat, and starfish. Open legs and arms wide. Let's try this again. Strong core. Keep going. Yes. Brace. Oh. Our last one now. Oh, roll up. We've got wild thing pose. So front leg out straight, bend the other leg. Front hand under your shoulder. Inhale, lift your hip. Lift your body, squeeze your glutes. Touch down, other side. So inhale to lift. Exhale to hold. Inhale to lower. Exhale to release. So feel the beautiful opening in the front of your body and the strength and mobility in the back of your body. One more each side. And hold. All right. We're coming to a yoga flow, number one. So there's a time if you need a break, just pause me, grab a drink. Otherwise, come to the front end of your mat and set up your warrior one. So your front leg step back, the heels on the ground, your foot 45 degree angle, sink it down, stretch your arms overhead. Take a deep breath in, tip forward. So draw your belly into your spine. Hands touch down and step back to your down dog. 
we're gonna flow. So roll through your spine into a plank. Knees down, all the way down to the floor for your first round. Now relax your toes, baby cobra, lift the chest. Take your toes, come back to the arm dog. That front leg's gonna lift height to a three-legged dog. So squeeze your butt. Press your palms into the floor. And breathe. On the top leg, gonna step between your hands for your lunge. Gonna twist to the front. Beautiful, touch down. Step into a four fold. Bend your knees, lift your belly, extended mountain. Circle the arms, roll up. Bring your hands to heart center. We're gonna do that again. So warrior one and the other side. Back leg steps back. Adjust your foot. Square your hips and shoulders to the front leg. Breathe your arms up. Extend the warrior forward. Keep your arms by your ears, long and strong. Touch down. Step back to your down dog. We're gonna hold your dog a bit longer. So spread your fingers. Keep pressing your heels down. We're gonna flow again. So roll your spine as you inhale. Knees of toes for your round two. Exhale. Inhale. Cobra upper dog. Push your hips back as you exhale. Back leg. Lift to a three-legged dog. Eyes to knees if you can. Now the legs. Step back. Step forward between your hands. And twist to the back of the room. Sink a bit lower. Step in, let the head drops, relax, and now rise. Hands to heart center. We got two more rounds, front leg. So really take this one into your body. Breathe your arms up. So the lower body, nice and strong that's your strength extend it forward and find the length in the upper body hands touch down step back to your damn dog oh, let's go let's flow take a deep breath in shoulders above your wrist this round lower halfway if you can elbows in now push your hips through find a cobra upper dog and push your hips back. Front leg, lift, three-legged dog. Feel that beautiful opening. Now your arms, long and strong and straight. Squeeze your booty. Find your lunge, sweep the leg through. Sink a bit lower, twist to the front. As you breathe in, breathe out. Step in. Yes, take a deep breath in. Palms above your head. Now heart to center. Step back. Back foot. So square your hips. Read your arms up. Extend the warrior forward. Now make sure the back leg longer, long and straight. Power from that foot all the way to the fingertips. Hands come down. Step back to your damn dog. Spread the fingers. Keep a look in the wall behind you if you can. Let's go again. Take a deep breath in. Feel that roll through your spine. Strong on the core, control. Now feel the beautiful extension of the back of your body. And push your hips back. Back foot lift. Take a deep breath in. 
As you breathe out, step between your hands, twist to the back. Find a little bit more rotation through the spine as you're a bit warmer. Step in, bend your knees, relax your neck, and then rise. And give me a little baby back bend. Push your hips forward, squeeze your butt. Well done. We're coming to a yoga flow, second one. We're gonna start with a white squat. So bring your feet wide apart, toes out. Press your knees over your toes. So push your knees out, bring your tailbone down. Hands to your thighs. Now roll the shoulders back. Sink a bit lower. Yes. Side flex. Take a deep breath in, left arm up and over. So feel the beautiful extension to this other body. Warrior two on the right side. So right foot to the side, opposite foot to the front. Knee above your ankle, we're gonna flow to a lunge. So rotate your body to the right. Left heel come off the ground, sink low and rise. Back to warrior two, so heel down. Let's do that again. Inhale to rotate. Exhale to sink. Inhale to lift. Exhale to warrior two. One more time. Really take this one into your body. Beautiful. Back to what squat. So hands to thighs. Toes out. This time, sink a bit lower. I know you can. Side flex. So your right arm up and over. Lift the chest, look up. Warrior two. So left foot to the side. Opposite foot in. Knee over ankle. We're gonna flow to a lunge. So rotate your body to the left. Right heel off the ground, sink. And come back. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. You're gonna start to feel the heat in your legs. And know you're there when the legs feel it's gonna about to explode. Let's hold this one here. So take a deep breath in, relax your shoulders, and push strongly to the outside of that foot. So just roll up your thigh. Chair pose. So feet under your hips or big toes together. Lower your hips way down, stretch your arms overhead. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, sink a bit lower. Lift the chest. I know, feel the power straight your legs here. Bring your hands to her center. We're gonna add a little twist. So turn your chest to the right. Try to bring the elbow outside your thigh and just rotate the top shoulder. Gently tuck your chin in. Switch. Inhale and exhale. So squeeze your inner thighs together. Try to keep your hips level. Release. Got divers. So lift your heels. Inhale, open your arms wide. As you exhale, tip forward. Keep going if you can. Just dive. Well done. Come to the floor for your last yoga trek. So a little bit hip stretching. So start with a swan pose. Your right leg in front of you. Turn your body to the right side. Legs to 90-90. Or you can extend the back leg for extend the swan. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, 
draw your belly into your spine. You can bring your forearms or you can stretch your arms overhead. Now breathe in. As you breathe out, just release into that stretch. A yoga lunge. So push yourself up. Your right foot outside your right hand. Pull that body weight forward. Try to keep a longer neutral spine. Now your option as you progress to the wicks, bring your forearm to the floor. So that's your progression. If that's not comfortable, come back to this. Now walk your hands to centre. Got wide leg twist. So your toes face in the front. Your right hand on the lower back, square the hips. Now your right arm reach up really tall. So keep turning your open in the chest. Gently tuck your chin in. Switch. So a quick check on the hips. And now turn the chest. Your legs long and straight. Touch down. Walk your hands towards your left foot. Tuck your le left leg under. And find your swan pose on this side. So slowly lower, stretch your arms. And just stay in this music with me. Now push yourself up slowly. And find your yoga lunge. So the foot outside your hand. Open your heart and you can bring your forearms to the floor. Oh, push yourself up. Got line twist as your final pose. So roll onto your back. Open your arms out and wide. Now you're going to roll your legs to the front of the room. You can bring your knees towards your elbow and make sure both shoulder blades are touching the floor so you're anchoring your base. I'll bring your legs through center and roll it to the other side. So feel that release through your spine down to your lower back. coming to your meditation so come on up come to a sitting so whatever feels comfortable for you today we've got a meditation as your last trick bring your hands to heart center close your eyes and I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and now through your nose Self present in this moment. Take a deep breath in again and just notice how it feels in your body. And let's just soak in all the benefits of our practice today. Continue to breathe slowly. Just appreciate how strong your body is. slowly you can open your eyes well done and thanks for joining me and staying with me the whole class please subscribe to our channel if you have any questions please comment below
any feedback, anything you want to say in the next Body and Soul, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Give us a thumbs up, and please check the other videos in our channel. And I'll see you next time. Well done, and thanks for working out with Global Group Fitness. Please don't forget to press that subscribe button to support our channel. We have 17 different fitness programs for you to choose from and our workouts will be uploaded on a regular basis so that you've got plenty of fresh content to keep you motivated. If you commit to be fit, Global Group Fitness will help you live longer and healthier.